classification of reflexes these are based on first on receptor site the reflexes may be either superficial deep visceral or pathological the superficial reflexes concerned with the skin or mucous membrane deep concerned with muscle tendons etc while visceral reflexes concerned with the part of the reflex are is formed by autonomic nerves these are visceral reflexes while pathological not observed in normal person that are pathological reflexes that means in conclusion when is this classification of reflexes the first important classification is based on receptor sites on receptor sites these are divided very simply superficial reflexes deep reflexes visceral reflexes and pathological reflexes when we see the another classification that is anatomical the site of integration where the site is integrate concern with the reflexes either segmental reflexes intersegmental or suprasegmental reflexes these are concern with the anatomical reflexes when is the physiological reflexes these are concerned with the number of synapses either monosynaptic reflex disynaptic reflexes polysynaptic reflexes and a synaptic reflexes that means in finally there are different routes or basis of classification of reflexes first we observe that is based on the receptor sites superficial deep visceral and pathological when anatomical these are segmental intersegmental or suprasegmental while physiologically on the basis of number of synapses either monosynaptic reflex disynaptic reflex polysynaptic reflex and a synaptic reflex well according to the development according to the development these are either unconditioned reflexes or conditioned reflexes these are either unconditioned reflexes or conditioned reflexes